Hey folks, Quill18 here, and I want to thank everyone for their excellent feedback on Episode 1. And now we are going to continue with Episode 2 of our Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Just a uh, quick recap here. We are going for a fairly intellectual build. I think I'm going to focus on uh, energy weapons early on, although we'll certainly, res we'll certainly uh, depend on guns at the very, very early stages, uh, just because we've got a few more uh, to choose from. Um, but yeah, and then hopefully we'll unlock all kinds of cool stuff as we go forward. So I'm going to go up here to, uh, I don't know, Boot Hill, I guess. What do we have over here? A rad Scorpion? I wonder if I can hit him at this range. Wait, it's a Bark Scorpion? What's a Bark Scorpion? Oh, I'm hitting the ground. Look at me all styling with my hat and everything. Critical hit. Rah! My hat, my glasses, looking slick. Always good to have a good sense of uh, fashion. Always important to have a good sense of fashion is what I meant to say. Poison gland, that's probably going to be useful for something. Yeehaw. Doom, 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 doom. Jump, 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 jump. And a lot of flies around here. 60%. Why so low? There we are. Usually they go down in one hit, I think. Or at least they did in the old one. But maybe it wasn't a very good angle for it. Hmm. Well, so far I'm doing better than the 60% chance to hit would indicate. I mean, certainly possible. Maybe they're hitting some sort of carapace. I don't know. Yeah. There we go. Or maybe I just wasn't close enough before. Where's the last one? Oh, there he is. Haha! -ha! No vat required. Critical strike. Thank you. So. We are we are looking at a very familiar area here, which you may or may not remember from the intro. Right? Dibbly standing or kneeling right here, I think. And we got a bullet to the head. Ooh, that's actually kind of creepy to reenact. I don't know. And we've got some distinctive cigarette butts here. We'll take all of those. Now, the guy was definitely smoking. One looked like it actually melted into the ground instead of letting me pick it up. So here's the Brock flower we needed. Anything else? We've got some tin cans, empty bottles of sarsaparilla. Sunset sarsaparilla? No. Sar... What is it? Sarsap... Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla? That's not right. That's not... Isn't there a thing called sarsaparilla? I'm confused. Isn't that what you make root beer out of? I should just call them bottles of pop. Or soda. I think that's what they are. And okay, and we're back. Um, which way is back to the town? This way. Right. So, did I loot all these guys? Yeah. I guess he said empty. That one too. All right. So we got all that. Uh, the graves. I can apparently dig up if I had a shovel, which I don't. But I guess I can take some tobacco, prickly pear fruit. That seems good. Any other offerings at any other graves? Oh, 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 what's this? You found a limited edition Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless bubbles, but rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. So we got a snow globe. All right. Well, we're definitely going to want to come back up here once we get a shovel, at the very least. And, uh, oh, there's a cigarette butt left. I don't know if we need that many, but we got this one that's all like blocked off and everything too. J. J. Frenzel, Frenzel. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to investigate that later. But we do need a shovel first in town. I mean, we might be able to buy one at the general store, but hopefully we can just steal one somewhere. Frankly. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I'll probably work on finishing this quest right now. 
and then maybe I'll run into something along the way. Whee! So, gun-wise, let me just check how we're doing for ammo. So, we've got... Right, and the, uh, the submachine gun. So it does slightly less damage than the pistol, but of course has much higher DPS because of the better fire rate. Arguably the pistol might be a better choice against armored opponents, but still not great. Right, the laser pistol, the laser RCW, which I don't know what it is. Um, neither, nothing has a ton of ammo. Let's give this a reload just in case. Oh, look at this thing. This is kind of like old and busted up. How cool is that? Can I look at it in this view? Uh, how do I turn? Look at that. Hmm. I kind of like this gun. It's kind of cool. It looks very homemade. Oh, I'm not going to actually play in third person view. Put this away. I'm going to go. Whee! Whee! Alright. Back to the mission at hand. I'd say Good Springs does too. Definitely been around for a while. Which, okay, so this town hasn't sprung up since the war, clearly. I guess, yeah, I mean, this old building is pretty obvious. But the name, I, was, I wasn't sure if the name was, um, was a newer name, just like because they have fresh water here. Okay, all these running around bits are actually going to be quite dull. I guess I'm going to have to fast travel a lot more. <laughs> so, let's go find our friend. Probably going to be doing that same thing again where I jump off a cliff. Where is she? Down here somewhere? It looks like we're closing in. Oh yeah, here's the dead lady. Oh! We got a blip on the radar too. Actually, I should stick with the varmint rifle. It's pretty accurate, nice long range. So, oh! There we are. From hidden, should be a critical, I think. Sneak attack critical! Excellent. Wow, and she. Oh, geez, well, I guess she's a little bit busy. Bam! You all right there? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. Excellent. All right now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. All righty. Will do. So I want to loot this wolf first or coyote before I forget. That's not bad, see? What? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. What? Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. I don't understand. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. Okay. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. So, alright. So I picked up... I clearly didn't do the task she's asking, which is fine, I can do it now. I'm just trying to work out, like, how that bug happened. I, pick, I looted an item, which she set the trigger when you get a new item, because you'll get one after crafting, that's certainly possible. Or is it possible that I have a healing powder on me? And that's what caused the, uh... Yes, I do, actually. I must have looted one somewhere, so that's what caused her to trigger. But here we go, if we want, we can activate the campfire. We've got... What's a... Bloat fly slider. I guess it's food. No. Well, it is. It's food and drink, effectively. It's not really described, but you use bloat fly meat and a prickly pear fruit. And it gives you something you can eat to get regain water, food. Uh, it's slightly radioactive, but it also heals you. And then you have a healing powder, which I could make. Uh, apparently hurts your perception, so I guess it gets you a little bit stoned. Uh, but it does heal you over time, so that's pretty good. And then all the other stuff I could make, assuming I had the recipes. I guess it's nice that the ones you... Looks like you don't need any skill for healing powder. The bloat fly slider, you do need 20 survival for, which I've got. I wonder if it's worth, worth making any of these. I guess I could probably make a healing powder. Uh, oh, except. Yeah, one is all I can make. 
There we are. So we've legitimately completed that quest now. Hey, there's a dude over there. Was he there before? Staring at us the whole time? I'm gonna loot your house first, buddy. Suitcase? Actually. Oh no, it's not theft, so. Uh, random clothes. Let's give plus one agility. But I guess that's not an upgrade. The cigarettes are worth money. Um, any of those full? No. I can actually sleep in this bed, too. It's not even marked as being owned by anyone. Hello! How are you? Barton Thorne. Hello? Can you help me? What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Okay, where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. Um, alright, I'll see what I can do. So yeah, see, here's the reason that I tend to play relatively helpful and goodly characters, is because you you will accept quests like this, and, you know, do whatever is there, instead of just saying, like, no, go fuck yourself, and I'm not interested. And sometimes that might trigger something too, but a lot of times it won't really do anything, so at least this, uh... You will? Thank you for helping Gives me. you more Please side hurry. quests. Oh, there's probably some evil side quests that you can do, um, if you're evil, but... Nothing in there? Okay. So, did he say... Give me a blip on the radar for this one, and I don't like that. Are, like, the side quests really gonna be like that in this game? I have done this. This is part of my original playthrough, so I know what's gonna happen, but... Uh... Okay, go away. Um... Like, if you look at quests, like, I didn't get a quest for that. So, there's, I don't have a marker. Oh, and here we are. Let me go and uh, double check the thread a sec, just to see if there's any adjustments. Alright, we're looking good. Uh, we're gonna keep things kind of as they are, and travel onwards. Let me quick save here, and move on up. So apparently we got some geckos to look out for. <laughs> no blips on the radar yet. Oh, looks like a plant over there. A little harder to see at night. I much prefer going out during the day, but... There, Brock flower, good. Now... Oh, we've got two blips. Okay, let's come up this hill here. And see if we can't sneak up on something. Oh, I can't shoot him through there. I'm getting the caution sign. Danger, danger, danger. Yeah, okay, I guess someone has spotted me. That's annoying. I don't have much in the way of stealth. This guy might not know that where I am. Mm. I guess we'll go for the torso shot. We might get a quick feed if he hasn't seen me. Oh, no. That is not as much damage as I'd hoped. So, and I can see there's someone coming over here as well. An actual adult. Uh, let me switch weapons. Something that's a little bit more suited. We'll try, well actually we'll try the laser pistol, just for a change. Ah, there. Jesus. Stupid cliff. Some more meat. Reload. So where'd the mommy go? Oh! I think I just leveled up, actually. There's someone running. And there's someone over on the right. Are they having, like, pathfinding problems? Oh my god, one hit out of all those? Terrible! Alright, no, you're able to come up here. Take headshots! Whoa! Vaporized. Let's replace those AA batteries. Hello. 
Like, they're ash piles, but I can still get meat and hide, so that's good. I did grab it, eh? Yeah, okay. Hello. Come at me. I was really... Is there max range on lasers? Because my, my cursor wasn't turning uh, red. Wow, I can take a lot of shots. With the laser. Oh, right in the neck. Someone lost their head. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's, uh, let's switch back to the varmint rifle. Since it does seem to have a really good range. Oh, another plant I can loot, I think. More brock flower. It's the little one. It's the little roots in the ground that I'm never gonna see. That I'm gonna have to really keep an eye out for. Hmm. Oh, a couple more blips. There we are. Ah, uh, that's not high enough percentage. How come I can't? There we go. Torso. Hit, hit, miss, and those hits were not very high damage. Maybe it's a range thing. Yee! Reload while running. Reload. And... BAM! Oof. Yeah, okay. So my weapon condition is poor. Maybe I should switch temporarily. Too bad I don't have anything to repair it with. Everything's got low condition. Well, the submarine machine gun's not bad. I could melee for a bit, but I really don't have the stats for it. Alright, let's use this for a little bit. Just based on condition. Hello! How am I only 55% chance to hit the head at this range? Wow. Okay, that actually did really good damage. And since I'm out of combat, I get to level up a little bit. So going to... Any breakpoints that I really want to hit? Uh, you know what? I'd actually like to get my lock pit up to 25. That should unlock a lot of possibilities for, you know, unlocking. And then I think I'm going to dump some into speech. Kind of sucks not to increase the weapons right now, but I think putting the lock pits in is good. And I keep wanting to put my speech up. Um, I mean, you know what? Maybe 35 will be a break point, and then I'll put a point in guns. Just because I think I'm going to probably have more gun ammo early on, and then I hopefully later on I'll be able to get more energy weapons going on. And I get to pick a perk. So confirmed bachelor is plus 10% damage to male opponents, and outside of combat you get more um, unique dialogue options with members of the same sex. It's sort of like the, the homosexual option, basically. You can flirt with some of the dudes. Uh, intense training just gives you plus one to a stat, which is very good and we're definitely going to want to look into. Um, we may take it multiple times for different stats. I think you can do that. Um, and I think you can take it more than once, and then the question becomes, can you add it to the same stat more than once? I'm not sure. So Lady Killer is a 10% bonus damage against women, and you get a uh, you get the opportunity to have special dialogue with the ladies, um, which I might take, actually. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Retention. This Okay, so the magazines give you skills temporarily, and these would last three times longer. It's probably not bad, but I'm not too concerned. And then Swift Learner. Swift Learner is you get 10% more experience all the time, which sounds really great in theory, but the fact of the matter is it's actually not that hard to hit the uh, the XP cap in these games usually. And then at that point, you've basically just wasted a perk, because the perk does nothing for you. Additionally, it, most of the enemies in the game scale up in level with you. Um, so... You being higher level is not necessarily that much of an advantage, especially if it means you're just behind on a perk. So it's actually a bad idea to take this. Later on, there's even uh, there's going to be another perk as well that just, at least there was in Fallout 3, that just gives you a level instantaneously. And again, it's just not a smart pick. Hmm, cannibal. Nom nom nom. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for Lady Killer. That searched. Okay, nothing there. No one behind me. We've got some, wow, dead bodies. There's a, I guess this was a lady. It looks like a dress, maybe. All right, that's um, it's a little freaky. And let's uh, let's disarm that. You get a tiny bit of XP for it too. Another bear trap. Footlocker with two bottle caps. 
ammunition box with whoa, lots of 10 millimeter rounds and a 10 millimeter pistol. Awesome. That should actually be I'm encumbered, really. Wow. Wow. We're gonna need more strength or something. Uh, drop a baseball bat. I'm still encumbered. It's because of the ammo. Yeah, the weight from the ammo. Um, Merc front outfit. Okay, we're no longer overweight, but that is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Oh, Christ. Um, so, yeah, machine gun does pretty good. 59 DPS, 5 damage per. This does 36 damage. 36 DPS, 11 per shot. It's definitely better than 9mm. Not quite as good as the submachine gun, but it probably goes through less ammo, and maybe it's got better range. Probably drop the cleaver, too, just because I'm not going to be doing melee, so. And, oh, bear trap. And a fridge. With some food, which we're going to take, including whiskey. Now, at this point, it's worth noting that uh, there's no, uh, there's no girlfriend Oh, that's the outfit and stuff I dropped. Okay. There's no girlfriend up here to rescue. Um, doesn't even look like there's a fresh corpse, right? These corpses seem to be kind of on the old side to me. So, there's definitely something kind of suspect going on. Mm -hmm. oh. Thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there. After I deal with you. Yeah, so, he's an asshole. And... I can't begin to tell you the rage that I got the first time I, I hit this point. Because he actually, like... I, I, I was weakened from fighting the geckos. And then, like, he just whips out a gun and just shot me. And killed me. And... I was so mad. And it's too bad that it's not going to make it into this replay. But we are still going to take it out on him in this particular life. So I'm going to just... <laughs> unload right into his torso with my submachine gun. Which doesn't kill him. Well, the last shot looks like it actually just hits. Oh, don't try to run away. Shoot you in the ass. There you go. Huh? How do you like them apples? How do I switch to a melee? I mean, just... There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I can't punch him? Oh, there we are. Yeah! Ha ha ha! Take that. That's what we do with double crossers. No mercy. Oh, my apartment rifle is still needing repair. We'll see. So he's got another pistol, some rounds, some outfit with decent stats, but no armor. So I'll probably skip it. Um... Ooh, roving trader hat. This one gives you plus five barter. Interesting. Now, I think the other hat I've got gives me a uh, bonus to perception. Plus, it looks really good. Yeah, plus one perception. I don't know, maybe we can carry it with us just in case, right before we do some trading at the shop. And with the pistols, just to avoid having the extra weight, I'm actually going to repair the one I've got with the other one here. Like so. So now we've actually got a pistol in fairly decent condition, and maybe we should use that. Doesn't necessarily have the same damage as some other things, but pretty close, actually. Mmm. Oh yeah, there's the guy we fried. Can search this one? Nope, some more meat. Awesome. <sighs> yeah, carrying capacity is going to be a huge problem with our strength. Hmm. Oh, see, here we go. Here's some more of those... Oh, these are dried out. I can't pick them, but this one's good. Xander root, which I was missing earlier. So we actually got through that section with a good amount of health. It does help that I'd already done it before. And so I was prepared for the, the geckos. Um, it's really easy to get swarmed by them, actually. You can find yourself out of position. And uh, duct tape sounds really helpful. I'll take the duct tape. Yeah, you can just get overrun by, like, five geckos at once if you don't handle it right. Take a sip of water. Ah, refreshing. And let's run our way back up to town. <clears throat> we want to talk to the bartender, apparently. And we want to do some trading. We want to sell some of the stuff we've got on us. 
Um, actually, if we could find a stash, that would be pretty nice. Like, we don't have a house at this point. For crafting might be good. Actually, I remember there's a, uh, a reloading bench and stuff um, right outside the tavern. And so we'll probably do a little bit of work with that. You know what? I'm going to fast travel. It's not... Oh. Where is it? There it is. Okay. thought it was further away. No sense in fast traveling. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. Yeah, we'll try working with those little workshops and try to replenish our ammo count and use up some of our raw materials at the same time. <laughs> so, it's pointing me... Oh yeah, okay. I see it in the distance. What are these called again? Big horns? Big horner. Water supply is probably nothing kicking around here. I haven't really explored the town. I think there's some houses. Hey, Cheyenne, what are you doing outside? I think there's some uh, houses I haven't been into to rob yet, but... Sunny Smiles, you're leaving? Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Probably not, actually. Yeah, um... Actually, we could use some caps first. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with enemies. Yeah, we've, uh, we've already cracked that safe. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. Okay. It'll be more useful to you than me. Thanks. Uh, I also need to get the prim, because I have a package I'm supposed to deliver there. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. Mm -hmm. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Okay. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Sounds reasonable. Um, let's talk about the areas around Good Springs. Sure. What do you want to know? Any other towns nearby? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old... Okay, we know that If you already. follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Okay. Um, that's all I want to know. If you and I don't care about you. You just, like, Until hunt geckos or something. You are staring way too much. Piss off before I shoot you. Wait, he's actually got a gun. I wonder if I could pickpocket. No. The stealth's not very good, and I think it relies on that. I'm not sure, but pretty sure. So, we got some... Alright, nothing to steal. We gotta talk to the bartender. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. Woof! Wait, where'd she go? Okay. Hi, Trudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Hiya. Um, I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Hmm. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Aha, the one locked by with a key. Um, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo 